Welcome to the Toyota Film Room with Will Muschamp, where Coach looks ahead to next week's opponent with a little bit of review of the film. And Coach Vanderbilt, SEC play on the road for the first time this year, and the Commodores always a challenge. You see here offensively, Kyle Shermer's a four-year starter. Obviously, he's checking in the run game right here, uh, and switching the tight end. Pinkney is really good in the passing game. Blasting game's a big back, 6'2", about 240. Uh, but really nice job on the inside zone. You really look right here, the left guard and left tackle working from uh, first level to second level. The center and right guard looking first level to second level. The right tackle getting a cutoff and then Pinckney making sure he's stealing the, the edge on the backside. But really nice job. You see Lipscomb right here, 16, working to, to block the support of the safety. Uh, doesn't do, Middle Tennessee doesn't do a great job of, of replacing the run force. And you got an explosive run. That's what we got to stay away from. What gives you issues because Shermer is so effective throwing the football in the run game. Uh, sometimes you don't have the exact run box you want. But you see here these two guys working together, right guard and center working to the backer, cut off with 77 on the backside, and a really nice job by blasting game. And this guy's a north south runner in this end zone. In my first game at South Carolina, he and John Walton had one of the best collisions. Uh, that I've, I've seen as a coach. He, he got after John pretty good, but it was a great collision. and a, He's a big physical back that we're certainly going to need to tackle well on Saturday. See here, Shermer, a uh, very experienced player. Middle gives a little bit of a, a too high look, and then they spin down really to oppose safety. So right now he's going to work the backside to Lipscomb. He's got the one-on-one -on -one matchup. Uh, this is what we would say is a read-it route. If it's a situation where we're in press, he's probably going to take the nine cut and take a vertical ball. If he doesn't feel like he can get on top, then he's going to read it and come back. Uh, really nice job, really nice ball placement outside, away from the defender. Uh, and Lipskin really does a nice job after the catch as far as you know, gaining positive yards for his football team. But we're not going to fool this guy. He's a good football player. He knows where to take the ball. He understands their offense. They're very good in protection, as you see here, passing off a three-man game with a back with the right guard and the right tackle, and a nice job of what I would call a true six-man protection of against a six-man pressure. Very well protected. Obviously, Kyle sits in the pocket extremely well. Defensively, you see them against Notre Dame here. They want to start with a too high look, and uh, they're a, a very aggressive unit. They've got seven senior starters, uh, but, but they call the, the game aggressive as well. You're going to see an edge pressure. You don't really know if an apex player, what we call an apex player, has walked out in the slot. Could be coming off the head of the slot. You're not really sure. You see the safety tighten down here. So now you're in a true middle field coverage, man coverage situation here, man situation here, double pressed outside with some corners that have really good length. So this is a true five-man pressure developing to what, what a lot of people refer to as a bear defense, uh, sink down defense, reduce defense. Uh, but really nice job in the quarterback run game right here. So they give the illusion of a four technique, an A-gap player, a four technique on the backside with just one rusher to create your four-man rush. They build it with an, with an edge defender. So now they got two really good edges. Last year, if you remember, we really hurt them in the counter game. They've done a much better job of really holding the edges right here. Uh, really funneling the ball back to their inside linebacker uh, and eliminating the quarterback run game. Here you got a third down situation. You see both three techniques are, are, are in a pass rush mode as far as those things are concerned. They're trying to show a, a middle field look. As they get the motion, you see a guy traveling that usually generates man coverage, and now they're in a true too high look right here, whether it be quarters or, or too deep and man under. Uh, it's a quick screen thrown out there on the perimeter, and you see really here the, the, the aggressiveness and the fast play. I mean, these guys are closing quick on the football. They run to the ball. A lot of guys get into the football right there for Vanderbilt. You see the 2-3 techniques would de designates most of the time you, you, you would expect a pass rush game is coming. Some form of a, a pick game, a tom game, or a two-man game either side. Here you see Notre Dame's kind of moving the protection outside. They throw the screen outside. Really well play, played in space by Vanderbilt. Gamecocks have had a record nine straight wins over the Commodores, but it'll be tough in Nashville. Music City, SEC play. Thanks for being with us on the Toyota Film Room.